Okay, so I want to talk a little bit about, um, it's the 15th of February, and Fifty Shades of Grey, um, the last one, Freed, has come out in the theater a few days ago, and I, I figured I, I, I had a say in this being a romance author, um, and a lot of people don't maybe will agree with this, but I wanted to get some things straight because it really, really, really bothers me when I Googled Fifty Shades of Freed reviews and saw all of these like prestigious movie reviewers reviewing this movie with such like displaced anger, distaste, and irritability. I know it's kind of hard to see me because of the sun, but sorry. What is up with that? Can I ask, like, I'm not saying that these movies are awesome. I'm not saying these books are awesome. Um, I'm not one to defend these novels and say, this is great literature. This is, this is a great movie. Um, it's not. It's not even close to being great. And that was never the point of these movies, of these books. Um, I don't think they're, in particular, they're written well. I don't think the movie was very well done. Um, and that's an okay opinion and, a, and a probably a, a fair one to say that. I think they did the best they could with trying to make book porn into a rated R movie. <laughs> But Jesus Christ, like, okay, Schindler's List, uh, you know, movies like this that are, you know, actual tangible movies that are reviewable movies. Let's just call them reviewable movies. This is not a reviewable movie. This is moms, dads, people who are overworked, undersexed, exhausted, whatever, keep adding them up, not drunk enough, not fucking, like, haven't gotten any sleep. They just want to watch pretty people simulating sex on a, in a bad movie. It is the equivalent of watching softcore porn on climb, you know, whatever it is, climax, I call it, cinemax. It, that's what it is. That's what it is. It is fancy softcore porn. That's all this is. That's all it's supposed to be. It is pretty people that we will never get to have sex with, that will never know who we are, that we will never look like, having sex on TV. That's all this is. It is not a movie to review. It is not. We were not looking for a storyline. And Jesus, this is about people getting naked. That's what these books are for. It's a guilty pleasure. It's a guilty pleasure. I pay to go see those movies because I want to see Jamie Darnan half naked. He's a beautiful man. Who gives a shit if he's a bad actor? Nobody's paying attention. Jesus Christ. There are bigger problems in this world than reviewing the Fifty Shades of Grey movie franchise. Bigger problems. And the thing about these movies is that we need those movies to get away from those problems. That's what those movies are for. That's it. They're not going to go in history as some beautiful Martin Scorsese amazing piece of artistry. It started the careers for these two people. That's what it did. It made E.L. James the gajillionaire, which, fine. Be happy that there is smut in the world. Even if you hate it, it's there, and it's not going anywhere. And I have news. I'm not the only one writing it. There's a ton of us out there. Publish that shit. Write your smut. Smut makes the world go round. It should be on a pillow, on a t-shirt, all over the world. 
So leave Fifty Shades alone. Leave Jamie Dornan alone. Stop comparing Dakota Johnson to her mom. Give it a fucking rest. It's all good. Just watch the naked pretty people and enjoy the smut. That's that's it. That's the only lesson we learn. And calm the fuck down. Peace.